Aging is a transition, but a new study found that the anxiety surrounding aging is rising. AARP found that 61% of adults older than 50 say they have experienced some level of anxiety in the past year. Politics and personal challenges all play a role, things we're all dealing with. TV personality and author Kim Douglas joins us live via Zoom this morning. And Kim, September is Healthy Aging Month. So let's talk about this, some components that we can all work in as we're focusing on being great at any age. Absolutely. You know, it just is not your grandmother or grandfather's uh, AARP or over 50 anymore. It really isn't. That was a very different mindset back then. I want to just throw out at you to get in your uh, a visualization of what it is now. Um, J-Lo, mm -hmm. Halle Berry, mm -hmm. Halle Berry, um, mm -hmm. uh, Jane Fonda, uh, George Clooney, Michelle Yeoh. Uh, there are so many wonderful people that are over 50 that are just rewriting the script on aging and how great we can feel and look. And I understand that, that whole anxiety thing that the uh, study showed. Listen, I'm in Hollywood for goodness sake and I'm over 50. It's almost like a death wish from the past, but not anymore. People are pivoting, they're changing. And the number of people that are over 50, I want to see myself. Right. I don't want to see a girl 22 selling me under eye cream on how to get rid of wrinkles. I know. You're 20 you don't have wrinkles. No, you don't. I know. And, and I'm going to say this because I think to your point, you know, as we all are aging, we're trying to figure out where do we fit in. And a lot of the people you just named, I mean, gosh, they're beautiful. They're the epitome of this and that. But we can all do some things to really make sure that our mental health is in check and that physically we're, we're taking the steps to improve our health. Exactly. And I have about three or four of those. May I share them with you? Please, yes. Well, the first one would be, Make sure that your health is all in check. Because once you know you're good, then you can move forward and be the best that you can be. So make sure your uh, doctor's appointments are up to date. Have you had your most recent checkups? Have you gone in? Do you know that everything is in order? Your prescriptions, have you got those all in order? Are they up to date? Is anything expired? As long as you're doing good on there, then you're fine to go. Now, the next thing would be, believe it or not, many of us forget or don't do eye checkups. So you wanna go get your eyes checked because a doctor can give you an eye exam that sometimes can even see if you have diabetes or cancer. Um, I happen to love getting wild fun glasses. These are just online, nothing, no brand, but you know, they're aviators. They make me feel like I'm, mm -hmm. uh, failing my inner fair faucet. They're pink, so I look through life. Oh, those are so cute. Glasses, rose yeah, colored I mean, if you're gonna wear glasses, that's how you should do it. Right, absolutely. And many people are like, oh man, I really don't think I wanna go and spend this kind of money. I don't wanna do this. But you know, as you said earlier in the top of our interview, um, AARP is a great way to join AARP, become a member. They have discounts on all of your eyeglasses, your frames, your lenses. This is all through Optimum RX. And those are really great ways to have the discount, but also make sure you're taking care of yourself. The third thing you can do is how about scheduling a trip? Mm -hmm. Now, many of us, again, have put those off. Make it a trip or make it an experience. Have something you're looking forward to. And do you know that studies show that just planning a trip yeah. or a new experience increases your happiness hormones and you've got something to look forward to. This is what I'm doing. You're not sitting talking about, let me tell you about my shoulder. Right, oh, right, I right. Hear about it. Let's talk about what we have going. I'm going on this hike with the girls. I'm taking this new trip because of my book club. I'm blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, make sure you have something new that you can invest in yourself. And speaking of that, the last tip is pamper you. Mm -hmm. Take time for self-care. It can be as simple as scheduling your bubble bath with your bath salts and your bubbles and you get in and you have your book and you just reboot yourself or take that walk every day after dinner. 20 minutes, you're investing in you. Yes. Whatever your thing is, invest in you. You're worth it and you can't pour from an empty well. Amen. Kim, you got it. And I'm telling you, the younger generation, they get this because they're all yeah. about experiences. But we sit here like, oh, what about our stuff and our schedules? But we need to adopt some of those principles definitely to live healthy and be good at any age. Thanks so much for talking with us this morning.
Thank you, Melanie.